What's up? It's Ballistic, Ballistic Beats, BallisticProductions.com. Back with the Logic Pro video. Um, today I'm gonna go into Logic Pro X on my M1 MacBook Air, uh, the 8 gig version for anybody that wanna know. And I think I'm gonna try to make a track with only stock plugins. Uh, Logic Pro is known for having like dope uh, synths like built into it, like just basically stock VSTs and effects and all that. So I'm gonna try to take a break from my favorite uh, third party plugs and use only stock plugins today. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm gonna get right into this. Hit the like button if you're feeling it. Uh, Hit the subscribe button, regardless if you haven't already. Do that, and let's get right to this beat. All right, so start with this ES. Ensemble synth, kind of basic. to get a different character or sound that sound pretty cool need to EQ some of the lows out that main sound it's kind of muddy ah, fuck. almost went to my fab filter as well EQ this one too while I'm at it. And add some reverb. I like the space designer.
Guess now I'll go ahead and add some drums in. The drums are the only thing that won't be stock and they will be my personal drum kit, the list of productions, elixir drum kit. And you can pick that up on my site, uh, ballistaproductions.com. A link will be in the description too. I use that. Put it on a quick sampler. That'll work. need it probably probably not do it anyway And I think I'm going to use this step sequencer for the hi-hats. Um, start with 16. Beefy, not even gonna check the rest. You tell I don't use logic all the time. I used to. It used to be my main thing like 2012 all the way till like 2018. Yeah, I'm trying to get my uh, feet back wet and get it back down. <laughs>
think it's uh, um, the latency. That's what's going on. about one more instrument but I don't know it was alchemy I probably should have started with alchemy alchemy used to be like on its own it's probably one of my favorite plugins on there look at that definitely should have started with that I like to just go through plugins that I ain't never checked out just to find something to sound cool. It ain't even about trying to do too much and manipulate it too much, but if I find something that sound halfway decent or going in the direction that I want, then I'll start messing with settings and stuff. But just to see what the plugin do, just mess with some presets. Not no meters. Um, I want modulation. I like that. I'll give it a little movement.
All right, so there we have it. Uh, full beat. I actually sequenced it and everything. Made completely in Logic Pro X on the M1 MacBook Air. Um, all the effects, everything is Logic Pro. The only thing that are not like stock were the drums. And again, that's my Elixir drum kit. You can pick that up uh, if you need some drums. You never have too many drums. I got all my drums since. 19 years ago when I started making beats for real um but yeah if you just want to support pick that up um again let me know what you think in the comments if there's any requests let me hear that in the comments and I'll consider making videos on it um hit the subscribe button once again I told you at the beginning if you haven't hit the subscribe button it helps the channel um the growth keep me motivated to keep going and Come up with new ideas and new video types to do um i keep saying it but i'm just getting started um i got a lot of growth potential you can help me get there by hitting the subscribe button but um i think that's gonna about do it for today i know i need to pick me up a, a, a macbook mouse now like this was a struggle trying to navigate and use the trackpad the trackpad is amazing it's probably one of the best trackpads you can get on a computer but when it comes to making beats, I still would prefer the mouse. I know a lot of people make beats right on the laptop and that's it. But yeah, this let me know I need a mouse. Anyway, y'all hold it down. Um, appreciate you for checking me out, especially if you made it to this point in the video. Love that. Uh, hold it down. Stay safe. Till next time.